Alright, this is the electric start Toro I got for my brother-in-law and it has failed to uh, work. It doesn't have many hours on it and it doesn't uh, start. I'm going to check the battery to begin with. See, that's, it uses Vortex technology. Anyway, and to do that we come over to the back of the mower right here is the uh, battery cover and it's held in by two screws one there one there so let me uh, remove those okay Phillips head one on the back okay oops I have to go find that screw and one here on the front There's a screw. Okay, lifting the cover. The cover. You have a foam pad. Take the foam pad off. I see, what do I see? I see a battery with a uh, minus here, a plus here. A connection with the fuse and an extra fuse right there with the uh, unit so let me get out the voltmeter and we'll do some checking all right you can see my fluke meter I've set it up to measure uh, voltage DC I'm going to connect the battery right now And the battery has six volts. Let me uh, let me set it up a little better so you can see. All right, you can see where I got better probes to hold on to it, so I can have a uh, free hand. It says 6.78 volts. I don't know. Couldn't find documentation on the battery. I may have to pull that out, but I'd like to do just one uh, quick test. And what I need to do, something I never advise, is to uh, tie that up so I know I can start it. Stand by. Okay, let's see. I'm wearing uh, sandals, which I shouldn't be. Uh, that says 6.78. Here is the starter switch, and I'm going to see if the switch works. Originally, I figured it was a switch, but I don't know now. Okay, you see that drop all the way down to point 0.2. It's still at point 0.2 and then it goes back up, the DC voltage. So that's telling me a few things. It's telling me that the battery is uh, weak in discharge most likely and that this fuse should be good. And we're going to verify that. If you look, this came with a uh, extra fuse and you should be able to see, at least I can, that the fuse is, is good. We can physically take a measurement, but that's, that's a spare fuse, so I'm not worried about it. I'm going to take a measurement with resistance across this other, other fuse. I'm going to pull it, and then we'll take a look. Alright, that's the fuse I pulled. And, uh... It looks uh, good. You have one and a half ohms resistance, and or it looks, says two right now. And of course, that'll melt. There has to be resistance in a fuse, so the fuse will actually blow. So it appears that the battery is dead. So let me uh, remove the the battery. Stand by. All right, I've removed the battery. And that's what it says right there. BB battery SHR3.6-12. And then if we look below, it says uh, 12 volt. Right here, it says uh, 12 volt 13 something. 
All right, so I believe this battery is dead, but there is one more test we're going to run. I'm going to uh, hook the battery back in and uh, actually find a part number for it. And then put it back in, start the mower with the handle to pull, and then just see if it charges to 12 volts. 13, probably. All right. You can see the uh, voltage. When I push the starter, nothing happens. You see it declining. Now I'm going to start the lawnmower, and we're going to observe where that uh, voltage goes. Hold on. measurement I took was to see unloaded if we were getting 12 volts from the system and we're not. So I'm going to need to research this a little more. Okay, we're at 85 uh, percent, 86. So it's charging. Just so you know, the lawnmower doesn't have a charging system on it. Okay, here we have the uh, battery. It's been an hour or so it's charged. You see the green light uh, flashing, so it's uh, good. 100% charged. 12 volts. 100% charged. So let me uh, turn this off and measure with the meter and put it in the mower. Okay, there is the battery installed. Fuse back in its place. Alright, the battery is 12.27 volts. What's really disappointing about this mower, and I wish I would have never bought it for my brother-in-law, that's the uh, the mower itself. It does not have a stator in it, which uh, charges the battery. It did not even dawn on me that someone would have a design that's lacking a uh, a stator or charging method for something that has a battery. It just simply doesn't make any sense. I would not buy. 
I would not buy this mower from Toro. All right, got the cable tied down. Here we go. There it is. I wish I would not have bought that. It's, it's crazy to have a electric start and a battery that doesn't charge itself from the motor.